Okay, this uh, tutorial is going to cover how to use VLOOKUP to merge spreadsheet data. And I've got two sheets here. Uh, in each sheet I have a unique identifier for each record, but it's, uh, many of them are common uh, between both sheets. Uh, that's what's required. So uh, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start out by sorting the sheets by that uh, unique identifier. Uh, and the process um, that I'm doing here in Google Spreadsheets is going to be very similar in OpenOffice as well as in Excel. Okay, my, my data has a header row, so I'm going to sort by this, um, this ID field here. <clears throat> okay, so you can see I've got um, a couple of uh, columns of data in, in each uh, sheet. Uh, I've got a code, I've got a balance. This is just some data we want to um, try to bring over. Um, so we can see if we can merge this data. Okay, so let's say for example, we want to, and I'll start off uh, going, um, let's say we wanted to bring over um, the 2013 balance to this other sheet, uh, which has a couple of previous years in it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to click into the cell. Well, actually, first I'll start with a header so that it matches. And I'm going to click into the cell and I'm going to start typing equals VLOOKUP. And you can see as soon as I start typing that, it comes up with a little bit of a help window here. And I believe Excel does the same thing. Um, I'm going to go through these through the instruction, but uh, it's important to know that that'll kind of give you a, uh, a tip as to what you need to type here. Okay. I'm going to keep typing it out here. VLOOKUP and I'm going to do a parentheses. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do at this point is select the unique identifier, the, the cell that's corresponding in the same row. Okay. Then I'm going to put a comma. Next, I'm going to click over to the sheet that I'm going to be looking information up uh, from. Okay. And um, what I need to do is um, I need to select an array. If this had more columns, it wouldn't necessary. It wouldn't be necessary to select all of the columns. Uh, and I'm, I'm holding the shift key and I'm selecting a range. The important thing about this range is the leftmost column needs to be the reference key or the unique identifier. So if this, uh, if these were, for example, three columns in the center of the spreadsheet, I would again need to start with the um, the unique identifier or the ID um, column. Okay. Now I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to say. Uh, I'm going to put a three, and the reason why is because in the array or in the range, I've got one, two, three, and it's the third column in the um, array that I'm look uh, that I want for the information. This is the information I'm trying to look up or match upon the ID. I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to type false if I can spell it correctly. Okay, and then I'm going to close that parenthesis and hit enter. Okay. So it looks like uh, this uh, ID had a balance of $257 in, two, in uh, 2013, and that looks correct. Um, just to explain what the false does, it would be an exact match. If you want to have an exact match, let's say, for example, we put true instead of false. And over here on this, um, uh, in this unique identifier, let's say that this digit was, uh, or this uh, ID was almost exactly the same, but it was missing a digit. Uh, if we put true, it would actually match upon that. Uh, even though it's not exact, it would consider it uh, a very close match, and it would return results. Uh, we want exact match, so we put false. Okay. So what you can do here is you can just grab the corner uh, and drag down. And I've got some 250 some odd records. I don't think I'm going to do them all. Okay. You can see the NA here did not find a value. So you can see that this um, row. This ID, this ID number is not found in this sheet. So you can also use VLOOKUP uh, for the purposes of finding out which records are not contained in a given uh, data set, uh, which has been very helpful. I mean, you can simply populate the columns um, with bogus data, ones or zeros or something, and then kind of go down through and, and um, see if you can get them to match. Okay, so you can continue to drag down, and, and you can see that it's going to populate uh, the entire column for me. Okay. And you can see we have a handful of records that are not found. Okay. One thing that's important to note is if I click into one of these cells, 
you can see here that the formula is still there. And this can be good if you're using the information and the information is dynamically changing. What that means is anytime something changes on the other sheet, um, let's say this person's paid off their balance, it's going to update this sheet. That can be good. It can also be bad because if you're using this information and other people are possibly working in the spreadsheet and they don't realize that you're linking to it, uh, and they're changing values or they're changing columns or rows um, and they're not changing the reference in the formula, it could throw off your numbers, okay? So what you can do is you can say copy and I can right, I'm just right clicking to bring up this uh, menu here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say copy. I'm gonna right click again, I'm gonna say paste uh, special and this time I'm gonna paste the values only, okay? So now if we click into a cell, you can see that the value is there and there is no longer a formula. If I go over here to the other sheet uh, and this person pays off their balance, um, it doesn't change in this, in this um, the sheet that we use to merge the data. Uh, so it really depends on how you're using the data and um, whether or not you're the only person that has access to it. Uh, for things like compiling information and that type of thing, I typically would paste the values. Uh, if there's something that's continuously being worked on, you may want to retain the formula because it'll dynamically update the, um, uh, the value in, in the uh, reference sheet. So, okay, so let's try it again real quick just to make sure. This time we'll go the other way. Let's, let's bring this code two over to sheet one just to run through it one more time here. So uh, again, it's not necessary, but I'm just gonna put code two. It's, this is just a... Uh, all right, before we uh, do this, I'm just going to insert a couple of um, columns here so I can demonstrate um, the array portion of it. I'm going to click on the cell here. I'm going to type equals V lookup again, parenthesis. And again, I select my um, unique identifier in the same row that we're using. Uh, and I'm going to type a comma. I'll go over to my sheet that I'm using to look up the information. And uh, this time I'm going to select uh, C, hold the shift key down, select D, um, and I'm gonna type a comma. This time I'm gonna put the number two. And the reason why is because this is the first column, this is the second column. If we were bringing this 2011 balance over, we would type a three or a four and so on. So that number, this two, is the, the column in the array or in the selection that you're actually wanting to bring over for information, okay? So then I'm gonna um, click a comma and I'm gonna type false and again that means I want an exact match. So the uh, numbers have to match exactly, they, they won't match on a partial. So I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, there it is. Just drag it down a little bit here and I expect we'll see some NAs. Again, this um, ID is not found in this sheet. So you can see that that could be used to uh, match data sets and compare information. Um, let's say we were to go through and strip out all of the NAs from this sheet and all of the NAs from this sheet and then sort by the uh, unique identifier, you would then basically have two uh, matching columns uh, that you could then do, you could basically copy and paste information. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, it's something I use on a regular basis. If you work a lot in uh, spreadsheets or work with data and um, and you're always trying to find ways to, to match data up from different data sources, uh, this is a great way to do it. Please leave questions and comments below. Thanks for watching.